Very smooth, responsive. We have the Infivo 23.8 inch, which is basically a 24 inch full HD 1920 by 1080p monitor. It also does have built in speakers. Now, I'm not holding my breath on the built in speakers, but of course, they're nice to have as an option just in case maybe your speakers happen to die, your headset doesn't work, something that goes wrong, you can still hear your game. Let's get inside of this box and see what we got. The good news is the monitor itself is sandwiched between two sheets of styrofoam. Let's get inside here and see what we got. Inside the box, we have a user manual, a mounting clip and screw, the barrel cabled power brick, the 75 by 75 millimeter VESA mount stand, the HDMI cable, as well as the metal base for the stand. And now that we've got all the accessories out of the way, we do have the monitor itself. Let's pull this thing on out. Got it wrapped in plastic right here. Now, first impressions, this monitor is actually very lightweight. If we take a look from the top, ultra thin. Now, it's not the thinnest monitor I've ever seen in my entire life, but it is very thin and I'm liking what I'm seeing. Over on the back, you can see we do have a plastic build and then we have the nice matte display on the front. Now, taking a look over here on the right side, we do have all the controls like a power button, settings buttons, arrows, as well as mode switching. Down here on the bottom, we do have the DC power port, a three and a half millimeter headphone jack, a VGA port, as well as an HDMI output. Now, if we make our way out to the left and the right of all the inputs and outputs, we do also have the two built-in speakers, which, you know, should be fine if you're in a rush or you just want something that you can just use on a short notice or something. So it looks like this is gonna be very simple. Just slide it on in, snap it into place, just like so, and boom, we're good to go. Now we also do have a screw down here at the bottom. We'll get that unscrewed. We can do that by hand. And then we have the base. It can only go one way because we do have this plastic right here. So we're gonna line it on up, pop it right in, and then put our screw back in. So now we can prop this thing up. Oh yeah, this is looking nice. It's, I mean, 24 inches is a great size for gaming. So now if we take a look back here at the mounting area, we do have a bit of a tilt so we can actually tilt it up. It's actually very stiff, so it's actually very secure. So we could tilt it up, tilt it straight, tilt it down. Now there's not too much room here to move around, but you know, good amount. You know, pretty much when you're gaming, you're not gonna really want more than that. I think that might be good. Maybe even a bit more straight, something like that. We'll see once we get it powered on. There we go, looking good so far. All right, and now that we got everything connected, let's hit that power button and get it powered on just like that. One, two, three, four. Okay, it took less than five seconds to power on, so that's great. Nice to see. As you can see, I'm connected to my MacBook Pro right now. So let's actually go to our settings and make sure we have everything set up correctly. All right, so it looks like we have 1920 by 1080p at 75 hertz. Let's turn on HDR. And as expected, HDR is not supported, so everything got washed out, so we'll turn that off. It looks like we're good to go, maxed out at 75 hertz. So now, of course, we have to do our UFO test. Looks like our frame rate is at 75 frames per second, 75 hertz, 13 pixels per frame, and 960 pixels per second. As you can see, we have 75 hertz, which looks smoother than 38 and 19 frames per second, which is to be expected, obviously, but you can see the difference. So now remember, this is a 1080p display and I can definitely see the pixels. So it's not the highest resolution, obviously, but that's to be expected when you're getting a full HD display and not going up to something like 1440p or even 4K. Now, all that being said, what about gaming? So I got my Xbox Series X plugged in right now. We're gonna try it out and see how well it can game at 75 hertz and 1080p. So as far as testing out how well this monitor can game, I'm gonna open up one of my favorite games for this, Fall Guys. It has a lot of colors, a lot of action, a lot of stuff going on so we can figure out how well this monitor can handle it. And there we go, see we even got sound. All right, so let's just go into a random game here. So far, so good. Everything looks smooth, everything looks clear, everything looks colorful. Looks like we're playing DoorDash. I hope I get a good tip. All right, so far the world is looking great. Lots of colors. Okay, very smooth, responsive. Yeah, I got the real door. Hey, I got the real door again. So, you know, the sound sounds good, but, you know, nothing amazing because, you know, it's pretty tinny and quiet, but, you know, it works fine. I'm having a good time. I can play this. Okay. 
I mean, uh, there's tons of colors everywhere. Everything's looking great. Everything's very responsive. It's doing a good job. It's holding its own. It held its own so much, I actually qualified. Very good. So, you know, it did a good job. All in all, this Inevo 23.8 inch full HD 1920x1080p monitor with 75Hz refresh rate is actually very good for what it is. Now, now keep in mind, it is a 24 inch widescreen display at only full HD 1080p, which is kind of pushing it. You can definitely see all the pixels. Now, if you go far enough away, then obviously that won't matter, but I feel like when you're going 24 inches, it is a bit big, so you want to up your resolution at least to 1440p to be on the safe side. Because personally, when I start seeing pixels, I'm like I can see pixels and that's all I can think about. I want it to be as sharp and as crisp and as clear as it can possibly be. So I would have to move further away, but at that point, might as well just get a smaller display if I'm getting 1080p. But remember, even though the resolution is on the lower side, the colors, it all looks great. Remember, 99% sRGB color gamut and it definitely shows. I mean, this screen, it looks good, even though it's lower resolution. Now, like I said, the speakers, they work. They're fine for what they are. Pretty much exactly what I expected. They're good in a pinch, but not if you actually want to enjoy your content. But you know, if something goes wrong, your battery dies in your headphones, whatever it is, then you have a backup and that's always good to see. I'm glad they're in here. I'd rather they be here than not be here, if that makes sense. Now, as far as the 75 hertz refresh rate, it's nice that it's 15 hertz higher than the standard 60 hertz display refresh rate, but in a lot of cases, for example, with an Xbox Series X, you can do 60, you can't do 75, you can do 120, but you know, 75, it's kind of a waste. So you have the extra 15 hertz on here, but you're only utilizing 60, so do you need 75? If you're PC gaming, then sure, you can get the extra 15 hertz. But at that point, if you're PC gaming, I'm sure you want something higher, like 120 for sure. But all that being said, the Inevo 75 hertz, 1080p display, it's good for what it is. If you're looking for 1080p and 75 hertz at 24 inches, this is it.